Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how you can apply the principles of science to social media. Are there any scientists or engineers out there right now? OK, we got a couple. Um, well, my friends, we collectively uh, in the science community have a bit of what I like to call an image problem. Um, and this image problem includes stereotypes, uh, including but not limited to lab coat, goggles, unkempt, uh, zany hair, inability to communicate with uh, members of the human race, particularly those of the opposite gender. Um, but it's not just us scientists that have a problem. Uh, it's actually the scientific process that's misunderstood. A lot of people think it's some chemicals, then you add a few colored solutions. Mice are probably involved at some point. Uh, and then big, boring, horrible scientific lecture, and that's the scientific process. Um, and there's a lot of people to blame, but scientists are not exempt. Um, forever, scientists seemingly have had a problem communicating their trade. I'm sure we could you know, get some cuneiform tablet in here right now and have better luck translating that some, than some of these scientific documents we see. Um, and this is a problem, right? Because as technology continues to infuse society, um, we need people to be armed with the, the knowledge uh, to think uh, intelligently and, and speak intelligently about science. Science is a part of virtually everything uh, in our lives. And this is particularly true at the Department of Defense, which invests in science and technology that spans virtually every scientific discipline we have a name for. And embedded in this is a really rich history uh, and culture of some amazing men and women, uh, both in the military and in the civilian side. So in January 2009, the Defense Department launched Armed with Science, which is a social media project aimed at first demystifying military scientists, and second, educating people about the importance of science and technology to the modern military and to the Department of Defense. So yes, we did use social media. Uh, we had a blog talk radio uh, webcast each week where we interviewed scientists. We have a Twitter account to engage our audience in various ways, and the Armed with Science blog uh, gives a, uh, scientists, engineers, other practitioners a platform uh, to discuss their trade. But I don't want to talk about the tools and the tactics. I want to strip away the lab coats and the goggles and focus on uh, the core principles of science that we can apply to our social media plans. So I'm going to talk about a few uh, uh, core principles and then I'll give you a couple examples. The first is share the responsibility. Scientists since the beginning have been collaborators. They use each other's resources, uh, time, energy, equipment, skills. Uh, they collaborate and then they publish a paper together. So they share the responsibility, and then they share the final product, or the glory. And we should be sharing with our colleagues as well. Um, identify organizations or individuals that are uh, pursuing similar avenues or topics and collaborate with them. Use their resources and bring in new audiences that you wouldn't have had otherwise. And then also share that responsibility with your audience, uh, whether that's your Twitter account or a podcast or Facebook. Ask questions, and when you get feedback, actually use that feedback to provide the content they want. So give everyone a stake in the project. The second is experimentation, right? This is the hallmark of scientific discovery. And just for a moment, I want you to appreciate all of the reagents that you have to work with. Also, this was like 45 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. <laughs> so you've all seen this graph, right? This is the graph you show your boss to demonstrate how well your social media plan is working. I've done it too, right? The line's going up, and therefore, we're doing it right. Well, I think it might be time for us collectively to stop the observational phase and move on to the next phase, uh, where we're actually looking at things more critically and scientifically. So actually experiment. If you have a question, set up an experiment. Um, find out what's working, find out what's not working. Uh, analyze that data, and then use that to inform your behaviors and your future practices. So it's all about experimentation. The final principle is be authentic. It's the uh, scientific integrity, right? Uh, scientists publish a paper and their name goes right up front. And they're responsible for uh, the credibility and the authenticity of that data, of the results, and of the conclusions. And I really think that our social media should be the same way. So this is Major Maria Engels, who blogged from Antarctica about how she's supporting uh, science in literally the most hostile conditions on the planet. And uh, this, this is authentic. This is real. Um, Colonel Belote has talked about energy-saving technology um, on the Armed with Science podcast and then went on to be one of the biggest winners in Jeopardy history. This is him with his son and uh, Alex Trebek. This is real, this is authentic, and this is what's going to really start to change people's perception of scientists. So I hope in this short time I've convinced you unequivocally, indisputably, that you should incorporate the core principles of science into all of your social media plans uh, for the future. 
If you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more, uh, visit us at science.dodlive.mil or you can check us out at armedwscience. Uh, once again, I'm John Ohab. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here. You've been scienced. <laughs>